We are live. So sorry for the delay. I usually do my live streams. Actually, I usually do them Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. We were out of town yesterday, and so today it is Thursday. And I'm a couple hours late because we had an electrician come by, and he just left. So hi, everybody. If you've been waiting, if you're hopping on randomly now, introduce yourself. Say hello in the comments. I'm just going to pull up the video and turn off my sound. Perfect and we will get started. So uh, we've been having a lot of fun in the Facebook group. Hi Mustafa, thanks for your patience. I'm so sorry I'm late, but uh, it was unexpected uh, last minute call from the electrician that fit us in. Hi Amber, how are you? And so yeah, so I've been super inspired by these daily prompts in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. Uh, Mustafa, you're not on Facebook, but I should start putting out the prompts on YouTube as well because they're super fun. So every day there's a different prompt. Uh, people can create any kind of jewelry based on um, the theme. So we've had tons of amazing themes. We're up to about 80, I think, by now, which is amazing. And they're sort of spin-offs of the 10-day um, the challenges, uh, which have been really fun as well. And so yesterday's theme was all over the map. And so a lot of you posted really beautiful pictures of uh, little pendants and decorations with maps. And Amber, you did a really lovely one. It was actually, Amber, yours was so cool because I couldn't even see where the wires started and where it stopped. So that was neat. Hi Elsa, how are you? So I thought it'd be super fun to show you guys some of the maps that I've already done and I'm working on some other ones uh, in progress as well. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit of how I do that. And one that I'm working on now, this is for my friend, Jenica, who, uh, let me see if I got it right, 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 right round. So her family is originally from Haiti. So I did the map of Haiti here. Uh, this I did a few days ago with the little, um, this is one of the islands. So the island is a semi-precious stone. And what I did was I actually uh, print a image from the internet and I um, trace it. So that's super fun. So I'm working actually on a pair of earrings for her. I'm gonna do them in gold wire. So those are super fun. And so I'm gonna show you how I do the um, the outlines of the maps. You could do them in different sizes. Hey Jody, how are you? It's been a long time. Are you on the bus or are you at work? How are you? I hope I hope uh, you're healthy and uh, and safe and all that sort of thing. I just created a wire human with a bolt and screw. That's exciting. Cool, Mustafa. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to say to you guys is after this, we, we're going to hop over to the Discord group. And if you don't already know what the Discord group is, it's a little community that I've created on another platform called Discord. And there we can share photos of our creations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the uh, link to Discord and I'll put it in the comments so you guys can join Discord and after the live stream, if you're working on some maps, you can share pictures of your maps in the in. If you use the hashtag post live streams, you can go into that little category, that section, and you can um, you can share photos in there. If you just add the little plus button, you can share photos. So let me just get the link. I'm going to get the link here just to make sure that I have to make sure it doesn't expire, it never expires, generate the link, so copy. So I'm gonna put this link in here. So if you're not already a member of the Discord group, join Discord and after the live streams, we'll hop over there and share some photos and continue the discussion. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because it was inspired by my new favorite YouTube channel, the um, Art Prop. So if you, if you like art like I do, you can join their group too. So that's really fun. So let's flip the screen. I'm going to show you guys some of the maps that I've already done and then we're going to get making some maps. So let me just find my photos here. I'm going to go to my photos, go to my recent. Uh, you probably don't want to see a picture of my salad. So let me just delete the picture of my salad and let's go over. So I'm going to flip my screen and show you some maps that I've been working on. Here we go. Perfect. So here's my camera roll. I blanked a bunch of my pictures out of my camera roll because I work on a lot of really other crazy projects with them. Um, the comics and stuff so I don't really want to show those here but if you're interested you could go to Instagram at Heather Boyd comics and see my crazy comics so here's one this is a map and 
I think it's Nebraska, and now I forget. So I do a lot of uh, custom maps for wedding cake toppers. I've been doing this for a few years, and um, it was a special request from a customer originally, and um, and then this is one I did with Nebraska. So basically I use a thicker wire. It's like a 16-gauge wire, a little heart in the position of uh, where they live, and then their names across there. So that's one uh, cake, wedding cake topper. Hi, Neil. How are you? We're going to do some maps today. So I'm just showing everybody some uh, map cake talk toppers that I made a couple of years ago. So here's one. This one's Ohio, I believe. I'm getting mixed up with my states. I think this one's Ohio. So that one is, uh, and so it's like the bride's name with a little heart with red uh, color tubing and then the groom's name. And then we have another one. So I forget what these states are. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to have to pull out my atlas. So and this was a fun one, too. And then this little stick sticks in the wedding cake, which is really cool. Ohio. It was Ohio. <laughs> That's so funny. I got to brush up on my American geography. Hi, Clarice. Hi, hi Laura. Laura, how are you? So let's go over here. So this is in Italy. So this was super fun, Italy. And uh, these you could do as earrings as well, right? And Ginger and the Professor. Oh, Ginger and the Professor, do I have your actual name? Is it Ginger? I write down people's usernames as I get them, so that's fun. And this one was really special. So this is, um, it's a company called Iceland uh, Weddings. I think it is the, I'll link it, I'll link it up below if I could find the link to it. But this was from, they shared on Pinterest. I shared it on my Pinterest. Actually, you could see all my client wedding cakes on my Pinterest channel. Uh, at Heather Boyd Wire on Pinterest. I have a whole board called Client Wedding Cakes. So you can see all these cake toppers on the Client Wedding Cakes uh, uh, section. And so this was a, the outline of Iceland, which was really cool. And then there it is, uh, the other picture with a black background with the, uh, the outline, uh, outline of Iceland. So the sky is the limit, guys. You can do a lot with these. And so these are cake toppers, but I'm also going to show you how I do the, um, how I make the outlines. So I'm going to just show you here. I'm going to go over to, I go on Google to get an image. So I'm going to show you how to do that map of Africa. So uh, I wanted to uh, do an outline of a map of, map of Africa. So I just, I just, all I do is I go in and I type public domain map of Africa. So these are images that are not copyrighted. So you can, if it says public domain, you can use the image for uh, inspiration. And then I went to their website. It's a free, uh, free svg.org. So these are uh, public domain images and there's the map of Africa. So what I can do is just let me open up my page a little bit more. So if I take the image and drag it down to my, I'm going to drag it, I think I'm going to drag it to my desktop. I don't think I want to bring it to my photo. So we're going to drag it to the, see if I can drag it. Yeah, so I dragged it to my desktop. And then what I'm going to do, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. So what I do when I want to, because somebody asked me how I do this before, how I create an image and trace it. So I'm going to open my pages. So I'm going to go to my page file. I'm going to choose this. Hi, Peggy. How are you? I'm just showing people how to get images for tracing for their, their jewelry. So this is a public domain, uh, domain image. And then I'm going to drag it over to a word page. And I'm going to shrink it down because this is way too big, right? So you can just let me take the corner. I'm going to shrink it down. So we want to make it sort of an earring size, right? So we're just going to go on here. Uh, let me just, having trouble here. Uh, why is it not shrinking? Hmm, let me bring over another one. I'm not sure why that one's not shrinking. So I'm going to take this one and shrink it down a little. And often what I do is I'll do a few different sizes if I'm not sure. So you could actually um, go here and right click. Oh, it's not working. I, anyway, some images are finicky, but I'm going to just try to do them a few different sizes so that we have a choice when we're going to trace it. So let's just do it like that. And then I'm going to print these. So file and print, and then we'll have some things that we can trace. So we'll just print it. And then I'm going to go ahead and trace them. And then I'll get my tools. Let's just bring this down here. We're going to get our tools here. And hopefully those are going to print out and we can 
we can uh, trace them. Okay, so there we go. Just bear with me here. So file, print. I'm not sure why it's not printing. We're gonna see. And let, yes, Ginger is my name. My husband is Professor. Oh, that's so cool. Gilligan's Island, I love it. So let's go ahead and do some tracing of the images. If that one doesn't print mm -hmm. out, I'm going to have to um, get another one. So let me just see. Uh, yep. Nope. Okay, there we go. So hopefully that's going to print and in the meantime I will get some wire going. So I'm going to get it some aluminum wire here. So this one is quite easy to work with. So I'll go ahead and get some of the aluminum wire and then we're going to trace the image. So there we go. Do you have a friend named Mary Ann? I don't know a Mary Ann actually. I'm not quite sure who that would be. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. File, print. I'm still going to try to print this, guys. I'm having a little bit of trouble here. And then let me pull this up on the live stream again. Perfect. So I'm going to just check my printer. And if it doesn't work, I'll just do the other one because there's always a little glitch here. So we're going to turn that on. Perfect. And see where we're going. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a bit of a comedy of errors today because I'm trying to do things and they're not quite working. So why don't we go ahead and start the Haiti map and then from there, if the, if the Africa one comes out, we'll do that too. So let's just see. Okay, your pebble figures are beautiful. Oh, thank you, Neil. That was yesterday we went on a little road trip and uh, my daughter was doing, doing some photography and I was sitting on the beach collecting pebbles. And uh, oh, here, I'll show you actually, it's in progress. It's, I've glued them, what I did was I glued them all onto a paper. So here's the little pebble figure. So what I'm gonna actually do now, here it's focused, I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna paint it with different skin tones and stuff and try to do like something interesting with that. So that, is the pebble figure. I brought her home. <laughs> She's on my Instagram. So I'll definitely work, definitely work on that. So let's go ahead and just do this one because my Africa map is not working out. The beautiful, yeah, the heart rock was really pretty too. So guys, here is the map. Let's just bring that down here, around here. And what I did was I ended up doing a few little circles in it so we can, um, uh, hang a wire down because I was worried about these coming apart. So I did a little extra wire there and this is the uh, This is supposed to be like an island. So let's just go ahead and try this and what I did was I Printed out. Let me just make sure I have enough wire it should be good So basically I print out the map kind of like what I just showed you uh, earlier with you get a, a an image and you put it on a word page and you shrink it down to whatever size you want and then from here what you would do is you would just trace the shape so as and if you guys want to experiment with working on a map or something like that while I'm doing this you can share images after the live stream on discord I think that's going to be super fun so what I want to do is I'm going to actually center it kind of under where the island is and then you don't have to be super precise but the idea is you kind of like where there's like a major bend, okay, where there's a major bend here, you can just go ahead and do your bends. So let's just go around. I might miss a few comments just while I'm doing this. And then I'll go back after. And if ever I miss your comment, just ask me again after when I, when I look at the screen. So we're just basically, this is basically what I do. I just kind of print an image and then just trace it around. Like rather than create a jig, which is um, if you're only doing it once or one or two times, uh, it's not really worth it to make a jig. Although I do have a tutorial on how to make a jig just with fun foam and um, 
and pins. So you could definitely do like a sort of, I would call it like a temporary jig. That's definitely something that you could, you know, if you want to do something like that, you definitely could. But if you want to just like kind of free form it like this, you can, you know, it's a little awkward for me, you know, doing this under the camera because I can't like super see what I'm doing, but it's not too bad. And you want to give it like, you don't have to do all the details, but you definitely can, you know, give it a little bit of shape. And then what I want to do is I want to do another loop here. So it's kind of centered underneath and then we could go up that way. You don't have to, but I'm going to try to do one here and I'm hope that I'm not going to run out of wire. I have a little niggly suspicion that I might run out of wire, but let's just hope I don't. So let's just bring this one around. Okay, we're going to just kind of center that one here like that. And then we're going to bring it over here. And yeah, I'm a little bit worried I'm going to run, it, run out of wire, but we're going to see. So we're going to bring that around here. And then what you, this is good because you can twist the paper around as you go. So we're just going to go in here and then don't worry about the island because I'm going to make that with a stone. So that's, that's going to be a, a good solution to the island. And that was something that I came up with thanks to working on this design for Janica. I, I discovered that, oh, wouldn't it be cool to just make the islands with little stones? So that's, that was something new that came from this. So there we go. So Tim says, brilliant. Oh, thank you so much. I love this idea. I've been done this with words, but doing with maps. Yay. I'm so happy, you guys. So if you make anything like this while we're on the live stream, be sure to hop on to Discord. Scroll up to find the, the link. You can join my Discord uh, community, and we're going to share pictures of our uh, creations after the live stream, and we can chat in there. And like I said, that was inspired by this amazing uh, YouTube channel that I discovered called Art Prof. It's P-R-O-F. And it's uh, her name is Clara. She's an art professor from a university. And she as she started this channel to help support other art professors. And it's amazing. There's like art critiques, there's art tutorials, um, lots of things for like homeschooling, like home, uh, not homeschooling, but studying at home and things like that. And so definitely check out that channel because it's super, super interesting. If you're an art geek like me, uh, yeah, join that one for sure. So now we're just working our way around the map. It doesn't have to be super, super precise, but it just gives you a little bit of an idea. And the wonderful thing about this is when you make earrings, they're going to be the same size, right? So that's wonderful. Now, the other thing was I probably should have done another loop at the bottom here to stick the wire up, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna have enough wire. I might, let me, hmm, yeah, actually, you know what? I might have enough wire. So let me just try. If we put like a loop here, okay, so that one's gonna be lined up with those. So let's just, I'm just cross my fingers, I don't run out of wire. So we're gonna bring this around here to make a little loop, because that was my idea to have it like kind of all, um, those lines all matched up. So let's see what we can do with that. This wire is a little stiff. I think it's 18 gauge wire. So it is a little bit stiffer than what I would maybe normally use. Sometimes I would use 20, but I wanted it to be quite solid. So now if we put that little loop here and make sure it's centered over top of that one. So we might have to just move it over a little bit. Okay. We're just gonna move that one over a bit. Yeah, perfect. And let's put it back on here. Okay, we're gonna put it back on here. And uh, there we go. And if I miss your comments, just when I'm actually paying attention, uh, ask, ask the question again. And we'll have a time for discussion after this in the Discord group, which is really super fun. So let's just bring this around here. This is a plastic coated wire because it's non-tarnished wire. Uh, so sometimes if you work it too much, the plastic can come off. So definitely be careful about that. And so now we've done that side. So let's go around and do the other side. I think my Africa map did not print out whatsoever. So I'm going to investigate that after, but we're going to just do what we can here. And I can show you also how to do a bigger one after. Maybe we'll do a state or something after. 
and to uh, figure that one out. So we're gonna just do all these, like make sure, just kind of check to make sure it still lines up on both sides. You can just kind of scan it as you go. Sometimes it might be easier just if you see a shape coming along, pick it up and do some of the details. If it's easier every now and then you can pick it up off the, off the paper just to get a little more precision. So say you can start it like that and then you can pick it up and then you can just go around like this. So there we go. Jody's got to run. Oh, thanks for hopping in, Jody. That's uh, it's always great to see you. I know that you're a busy lady. Absolutely. So there we go. And stay safe with all your work and everything. So we're gonna just keep going in like this. Keep working our way in. And if it's not hundred percent perfect with all the lines, it's totally fine. Uh, just do the best you can to do a kind of silhouette. So it looks like it's more or less the right shape. You don't have to do all the little details. So we're just gonna go in here, up here, and then every now and then you just place it back down to make sure it's lining up. And we're gonna go up here a little bit more and then pick it up if you have to. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We're getting there. We're almost at the around. And I won't, I won't make you suffer through a second earring. I'll do that one on my own later. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna send them to my friend. So there we go. So we're gonna go here. And yeah, it's more more or less. You just want to make sure the proportions stay good. Okay, so this is pretty good. We're just gonna keep going here. Make sure that's there. Yeah, down and a little bend up. And a, whoops, yeah, I kind of pinched the wire a bit, but that, you know, that could happen. And, you know, as a whole, you're not going to notice little defects. And then what I want to do is make sure this wire ends, like, in the right place. So basically what I did was I finished this wire here. So I just did, because the trick is what do you do with the ends, right? So if because I'm adding an extra wire to hold them together, I just want to make sure all these lines are lined up. So I'm gonna just make sure those are lined up. Push this around a bit. Yeah, that's good. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this little end flush because I want it to sit flat. So here we go. So that one is like that. And we're just gonna use our flush cutters and give it a good little cut here. And basically what we'll do is squish that. So it's flat, so this, this is flat there. And then this one, you want it stacked on top. So let's just double check that it's sort of like nicely placed. Yep, we want it to be about there. So then, just bring that down. We want it to match up. Okay, we can even check it like this if we match them up. Perfect. And then we're going to just do the same thing. Let's remove the picture and just form our little loop. This is actually looking really good. I'm super happy with it. And then when I do the other side, I'll actually, um, I won't mirror image it. Sometimes I would normally for uh, earrings, but because you want it to look the same, uh, I won't mirror image it for this one. But if I was to do like a different abstract shape or something that wasn't a map, I would do a mirror image. So now you see you have these two uh, rings and you're going to stack them up. So now we need a uh, little piece that's going to go up there. So if you had a, um, uh, how do you call it, a head pin, it'd be perfect, but I don't have gold head pins, so I'll make my own. And now you want these to be perpendicular to the piece, so make sure they're lined up. This is really cute. I like it a lot. So let's just make sure the shape is good. We can just figure this out. Make sure it's kind of stacked, yep. So now we want to get a couple of stones to uh, represent the, uh, the um, islands. Let me just stop and look at some comments, guys, because I've lost track. We've got Pitsy, Pixie Quack. I love this idea. Thank you so much. Elsa's here. Clarice, Jody's gone, I think. Linda, how are you, Linda? And a jink. Uh, a, a jinkia. Do, do, is that your? Is, is that how you pronounce your name? I'll just have to figure it out. So there we go. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So let's get some stones. So guys, I'm going to show you my stones. 
these are my stones that I use for different jewelry. So all semi-precious stones. And now we need to find something that's going to work for the um, for the island. So let's try to find something for the island. I thought about amber, which might actually be interesting. So I don't know, you guys let me know. So I'm going to pull a few out and we're going to see what's going to work. So there's amber. We have this, I think is, I can't even tell. I thought that one was a black one, but it might be also a, um, what do you call it? Garnet. Garnet is so dark, you can hardly tell what it is. And there's the black one there. So let me just find a few different ones and then we'll do a little a little vote on what's the best one and I also have sort of a brownish tiger eye I'm not sure I like that one as much and I might have green as well which could be interesting but I'm not 100% sure so let me just move these over and we're gonna see what looks best so I'm gonna move that. Sometimes it's a bit of a process to find the right stones. And also, their stones are such like uh, different shapes, right? And sometimes if you have a limited quantity of stones, you might not have enough that match. So that's the other thing to keep in, in mind to make sure you have enough that match. So ABC Kids, that's Almonds here. Hi, how are you? And let's see what we can find for it. Like I do have quite a bit of amber that might work and then see the bottom island looks a little bigger than the top island so let me just see what I have in the way this was actually an old necklace that I used to teach art at a local art school and the the owner of the school gave me this old amber necklace which was pretty cool I'm wondering if I should use the amber it's kind of nice Ireland yes orange uh, amber Amber tiger eye. Yeah, well, this is the tiger eye, but it's not really nice. So I think I'm going to go with the amber because it, it pops a little bit. And it's it's kind of a meaningful necklace because it's from um, that woman that uh, used to run the art. Well, she still runs the art school. Unfortunately, they're on hiatus because of all the COVID stuff. But yeah, so look at all the beautiful pieces of amber from this necklace. Of course, now I'm going to have trouble deciding which ones this one I think we need more of like oval type shapes and these are actually better than I thought I thought they'd be too big but they seem to be pretty good so let's find a couple and then other thing make sure that they fit on the wires so there we go uh, so let me just cut this talking about Teresa oh Amber yeah no no uh, not talking about uh, Amber the person talking about Amber the stone so there we go let's go ahead we're just going to do like a little a little kind of a, a little loop here I'm actually thinking because what I did with there was I added the wire but in a way that it didn't stick too much underneath so the idea is we want to put it the wire through these two loops this is, you know, pretty elaborate. Like you don't need to do this if your state doesn't have a a uh, island, obviously. But because this is uh, a country with an island, that's why I needed to do this. So this actually might be a little big, but it's kind of cool, you know. Sometimes it doesn't matter if it's like perfectly proportioned. I really like the way that looks. So let's do that. And then we're going to bring the wire up here. Okay. We're going to bring the wire up here and then stick that one on top here. And then there's another little island at the top. This is super fun. Oh, I remember why I did this because if I loop it around to the back, then this is not going to twist. That's why I did it. That's why I left it loose like that. So then we want to put another one at the top. It could be a smaller one. Let me see what else I have. And... Um, you guys have to bear with me because I tend to be a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to things like this. So this one looks pretty good and it's sort of a long and skinny one, but that the thing is, does the hole fit? That's the trouble because sometimes there might be uh, ones that the... out. Oh, oops. <laughs> Sorry, I just poked myself. I'm not bleeding. It's all good. So there we go. So let's just get another one and see if we're gonna get one that actually fits quite well. So 
Maybe I'll go back to one of these since that one didn't work. Let's see if that one goes on. This one has a little bit of a defect though. So let me just find one that looks good. We're going to have a couple of more. And I think I want it to be a little bit smaller than that one, but it doesn't, you know, it's not too bad actually. It's, yeah, it should be a little smaller though. So let's just try to get another one and then we should be good to go. So, and if you guys are working at the same time, let me know what you're working on. And then after this, we can share pictures in the Discord app. That's going to be super fun. So, and let me know in the comments if you've already joined the app. And, uh, and let me know what you're working on in the comments so, uh, so we can have a look together after this live stream. Okay, so let's try this one. Let's see if this one's going to be good. So, see, some of these, that's the trouble with semi-precious stones. Sometimes the holes are really small. And sometimes they they can crack. So if it doesn't go on, don't force it because you're gonna you're gonna regret it later because it might crack. So let's just go ahead and try to find a smaller one. Let's take this one on. And the problem is the wire I'm using is quite uh, thick, so it probably would have worked better if I had a thinner wire. But because I don't really have, I might even go for the 24. See if this is not working. I'm just going to go for the 24 gauge wire because I have a feeling this is not going to work too well. So let's go. What we can do is actually remove it. This was the 18 gauge wire. It's too thick. So let's go ahead and find a finer wire. We're going to use this 24 gauge wire, which is almost too thin, but for now it's okay. And then probably later what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to, um, change it for a 20 gauge wire layer. I just don't have one handy. So there we go. So let's just stick this in here, here and here. And then we're gonna stick this one in here like we did before. And then let's put it back through these holes. Okay, this one and let's see this one and this one and get it up. Yeah, it's a little tricky to get them lined up. Perfect. So we've got them through here. Okay. And then what you want to do to do to this is we want to fix it in there so it's not going to like go back and forth. So we're going to go through here. And Peggy said, I stepped on a nail yesterday. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh, I hope you feel better. That's, oh, that really sucks. Yeah. Take care of yourself. And you don't want to be going into the emergency these days because uh, that's not, that's not a nice place to be. So there we go. We're going to, I remember when I cut my finger with the, uh, with the, when I was cutting the avocado pit, that was before the whole COVID thing, but I would not want to go in for anything like that now. So here's that. And now we'll be able to put on one of these smaller stones because it's, um, the holes are smaller. So there we go, guys. So let's just go ahead. This is what we're going to do for now. Even if I go, I have to go in and change this wire later. It's all good. So, so that's, the idea and then you can make a little loop at the top to hang the earring so we're going to bring this around and like I said I'll probably change it for a 20 gauge wire later but for now I'm just going to use the 24 we're going to go around here and I'll cut the end and that'll be one earring with the map of Haiti and I'll do another one later all I'll have to do is put a little hook at the top so there we go. So that one's done, guys. And let me try again to print the map because for some reason, I'm not sure why it's not printing, but I'm going to try again to print my map and see if it's going to work. Uh, this printer has been paused. Resume printing. Okay, perfect. So let's see if that's going to work. And then we can work on that one as well. And I'm going to put my stones away and then we can do another one. And let me know in the comments if you are working one on one as well. And I can also do one with a thicker wire. So what I'm going to do is show you guys, because I always keep notes about for my um, designs that I do with the cake toppers and that. So I'm going to try to find the one that I did with the map to to show you and then we can do a larger size one i just have to go through my i have so many pages and it's really 
hard to find everything, but hopefully I kept them. And then we can trace another one and go from there. So I'm just looking through them and see if I can find it. And if not, I'll just print another one off the internet. For some reason, my printer is not working well. I'm not quite sure why. Okay, so here's, oh, I had done one of Canada. There we go. See, I had done one of Canada, which was super cool. So maybe I'll do that one. And then, oh, here we go. Here's the, here's the ones I printed out before. Yay. Oh my. Okay, good. So here's the ones that I kept in my book. And I also keep examples. This one's crooked, but see, I do like airplanes and all kinds of other wedding cake toppers as well. So that's really fun. So there we go. I'm going to sleep. Okay, yes, I know it's later there. Sorry to keep you guys up. So here's North Carolina. That's what that one was. Okay, so then, and then sometimes people tell me what city they're from, and then I could put points on the map. There was Nebraska. So that was the stock photo of Nebraska. And there is, that's the North Carolina one. So good. And then here's Canada. So maybe we could try Canada. We could, we could totally do that. I mean, I really should be doing more Canadian stuff. So here's Canada. And if you want a geography lesson, there's uh, there's sort of like um, British Columbia, from British Columbia to Newfoundland. So there's all the provinces. And what I'm going to do is I would do that one with a thicker wire. So this one is the 1.5 millimeter wire. So try Guadalupe Island. That could be good too. Cool. Uh, yeah, the sky is the limit. So I'm just going to grab... Guess what, guys? My my thing printed out. So there we go. So let's put Canada on hold because it's going to be really hard. Yeah, I'm going to put Canada on hold because it's going to be really hard for me to use a big big wire like that uh, under my iPod. I'm, it's it's going to go all over the place. So let's stick with the smaller uh, designs, and I will do the Africa map, but I don't want to do it too big. So let's just do, it got a little cut off, so let's just do a smaller size. I think it's going to be much easier because the Canada is going to, uh, you guys are going to be up all night. So let's not do that one. So it got a little cut off here. So let's just kind of figure out what that's going to do here. Perfect. And this, okay, perfect. So we're going to do that. Oh, now it's printing my Africa map like five times. So... That's okay, I've got to have lots of them. So let's go ahead and take some wires. Just for the sake of ease, I'm going to use I'm going to use aluminum wire because it is softer because I want to show you demo another way that you can do this. Uh, these are way too long. So let me just cut these a little bit shorter. And uh, normally I would probably do it with copper wire uh, just to make it a little more solid because the aluminum is a little soft. But I just want to show you another way that you can do this. So if you want to do earrings, you guys know my hack is to take two pieces of wire and put them together. And then you trace them. You can trace them at the same time. So what we would do is we would probably start it at the top. Uh, and so let's go ahead, or you can start at the bottom, depending on what you want to do. We could start it at the bottom, and then we'll, you know, we'll figure it out from there. And then this way, if it's on a, if it's on a paper, we could wiggle it around like that. So Peggy was saying, I was thinking doing Texas and Idaho for my brothers. Cool, and do Michigan to add to my dad's memorial. Awesome. Oh, that would be amazing. Wow. I think you guys, I think I'm going to create <laughs> created a bunch of a bunch of monsters in the group that are going to be constantly being up 24/7 making maps. But uh, it's all good. I get so obsessed with these projects. I've been working on these texture cubes for um the art prof uh, uh YouTube channel and I seriously go to bed at two o'clock every night working on them. It's it's fun. It's so fun. Yeah, so let's go ahead. So now if we do want to do two at once, you know my hack is where I just put them together and I form them. So you could use the same idea with this. I mean, you don't have to because you can just do them individually and trace them individually. But if you want to, you know, try to do it this way too, you could definitely like try it in this way where you do both at once. So let's just give it a try. We'll see what we've got. We've got it here and then just in... We're going to work our way around and it's just sort of like, 
it's a hack in a way that it's it gets them the same size, but it's also, of course, a little quicker to do. So we'll just do it this way for now. We're going to go around and just kind of measure it up as you go. It's a little bit awkward sometimes to keep your hands in the right position. So we're just going to keep going here. Make sure my hands aren't going off the screen. And then we're just going to go the, around. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and, you know, do other like finishing touches and stuff. So we're going to bring it around, make sure this stays like about the right size. Okay. And then, and then just bring it around. So I just want to make sure it probably is easier to do them separate, but you know, I always like to experiment. So let's just try to do it this way where we're going to do the two together and you want to make sure they're lined up. If the, if the proportions are a little off, it's probably fine. Yeah. I think I would advise for this just because it does seem to be a little bit tricky to get, to keep them the right size. You could definitely, um, do them separately. So there's one side and then we're going to go around here. Okay. And let's just get it started a little bit. Okay. And bring it around here and then we can go ahead and do a little more around here. So we're just going to go around. Yeah, this is probably, you're going to get a lot more better detail if you do them separately. But this is just a little hack if you want to experiment with doing them both at the same time. So we're just going to go around. And then it would be really fun, too, if you did a silhouette of the country and then you filled it in with beads. That could be really cool, too. So I think that would be a really fun idea to fill it in with some beads. Or, you know, you could put other details with the wire as well. This one got a little bit off. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Sometimes it slips a little bit. That can definitely happen. So we're just going to go here, bring this down, bring this around. Okay. Yeah. I think probably we're better to do them separately, but we've started, so we may as well just keep going with it. So we're going to bring it up and, but you see the idea of tracing, you know, it's really very, very easy to do it's uh, and it gets the proportions right because otherwise it's very very difficult to get the right the right proportions and so this is a very great alternative to be able to uh, you know to trace things well and I did the same thing when I did a, a live stream about um, faces so that one on the one about faces I had actually drawn a face and and traced it so that's a good way to do it too so here we have, you know, once you have your things like this, we could take them apart and we can just bring this around here. So then you can take this and see how proportion. Yeah, I think I would have liked this better if it wasn't done, you know, that way with the two at a, at a time because it's very hard to get the details, but it's kind of interesting. So let's just go ahead and then here you can line it up, you can just line it up just to get the proportions and then this part is going to twist around. So if you're doing a earring or a pendant, you're going to finish it at the top, okay? If you're doing a cake topper, you want to finish it at the bottom and then this is going to stick in the cake. But we don't want Africa to be upside down, so we're going to do it this way. You can add beads here if you like. And you can also do writing inside. So if you wanted to, you know, like I did with the, with the cake topper, you can put the, uh, you know, names inside. You can do um, any kinds of words inside that you want. You could put a year. Somebody was asking me about how to uh, do numbers. So I'm actually going to do a tutorial on how to write uh, some numbers. So that could be good. And so there we go. So my mom used to make large maps on uh, wood of Lake Superior. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, that'd be beautiful. Wow, very nice. So here's a map 
of Africa. And then, you know, you could definitely, uh, you can definitely work with that. Tim said, I was impressed with your at sign and, and yes, cool. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. I like those. Those ones are really fun. Those ones with the at sign and the hashtag I made, I went to a social media conference and I made them for friends. So that was, that was really fun. So yeah. So if you want to write something inside, uh, I'm not sure what we would write inside of this one. We could put, we could put some beads too. We can put a uh, a name or a number. Let me just see what I have in the way of beads. And we'll have a look and see. I have all my favorite beads here, of course. We can see what we have in here. I'm just gonna have a peek. Let's see. Uh, and maybe we can just choose some nice colors or something and see there's uh or maybe I could just write something hmm I don't know if I have any really good beads that I want to put in there right now so uh please talk about me too oh okay hang on I'm missing lots of comments here Damsey's creation how are you you're hopping on wow you're cool with wire thank you so much I appreciate that and uh have you been on the on the live stream before? Because your name doesn't look super familiar. Sometimes I write down people's users' name. Is that is that your name, uh, Damsey? Nice to meet you. So there we go. Uh, Ananka says my brother cuts and polishes stones. Mmm, nice. He did a hundred, a few hundred. Oh, state of Nevada. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, the sky is the limit, eh, guys? It's really, really great. So yeah, so that's it. So you can put something inside in there if you want. You can actually, you know, fill it up with stones would be nice. Fill it up with beads. There's all kinds of things. So there's this one and there's that one. And then, yeah, if you wanted to do like a larger one, like I said, you could definitely do a larger one and I would use larger uh, wire for that as well. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, which was something that I made in the... Um, for the art prof challenge was this because I, I hadn't shown you guys I put shared it in the Facebook group but I hadn't shown you uh, here on the YouTube video so this was something really fun too that I'm going to experiment with doing uh, three-dimensional these cubes so I'm going to do a tutorial on if anybody's interested on in making the cube so that one was really pretty easy to make and actually this would be fun to fill in the map with a kind of like just an abstract thing like that. Maybe I'll do that instead because I wanted to fill it up somehow, but I didn't know how I wanted to fill it up. So let me fill it up with some of this wire. And I actually ordered this really soft wire on Etsy and I wasn't happy with it because it's, uh, I found it too, too soft. So what we can do is use it for this. So, yeah, the, the cube is fun, eh? I really, yeah, I was really happy with that. And that was just a fun experiment. So uh, thank you so much. So let me just do a little filler inner of our African map. So what, what you want to do if you want to fill it up, uh, what state am I in? I'm actually in Canada. I'm in Quebec and I'm in Montreal, which is the best. According to me, it's the best city in the world. I love Montreal. It's such a wonderful place. Very cultural, uh, very exciting. I mean, everything's quiet now, of course, uh, just because what's going on worldwide. But I love Montreal. It's a wonderful place. So she really loved you. Cool. <laughs> so there we go. So let's just go ahead and fill this in. So if you want to fill it in, usually what I do is I would start by doing the swirls. Okay, so we're just going to do it like that. I don't want to do them too, too tight. I'm going to run out of wire. So if we just start, like, why don't we start with a few, like, three swirls maybe, because it takes time to fill these things in. This is sort of like the same idea as the chaos uh, beads and the chaos designs that we did a while ago. And that's always the challenge, you know. If you do a shape, how do you fill it in? You can put beads in there. You could do crisscross, uh, you know, designs in there. But this is kind of fun. So if we just fill it in with spirals, we can just go ahead and do that. So let's just go ahead and try it. I mean, I'm just improvising as always. So there's many, many possibilities you can do if you want to fill this in with beads or wire. So we're just going to go in here. So let's do put that one underneath. And then we'll put this one more up here. 
And then we probably will have to add another wire because it is, um, we're going to run out of wire, but we're going to do what we can. So if I can just at least fill in the bottom part with this wire, and then I'll add another one to the top part. So this is very freeform. This wire works well because it's super soft. This is aluminum wire, so it really, really works out well. And we're just going to kind of go around here and then just keep twirling it around. You could also fill it up with uh, crocheted wire would be cool. There's a lot of different things. Uh, some people work with resin as well. That might be interesting. Uh, I know Anjani in the uh, Facebook uh, group, she does a lot of things with resin, which are really cool. So you could definitely do something like that. And this is fun if you if you make these swirls different sizes, it just makes it look really interesting. I'm kind of liking the way this is looking. Uh, Mustafa says you always use aluminum wire. Well, that's great, Mustafa, especially because you said you don't have the um, a lot of tools. So aluminum wire is great because you can uh, get away with not having like heavy duty tools to twist it. And uh, that was, uh, you were the one that inspired the video I did this week about how to make a jewelry without tools. And that was a really fun uh, challenge. And you know, even to the point of like being able to cut wire without tools, sometimes you don't need cutters. You can just, um, if you um, cut them with uh, nail clippers or scissors or just like give them a little nick and then bend it back and forth. There's there's many, many different solutions on how to be scrappy if you don't have the right tools and the right materials. So there we filled in the bottom of the map like that. I'm liking the way it's looking. So let's just go ahead and bring this to the back. And then as soon as I finish this, we're gonna hop over to the Discord group. So if you don't, if you're not already a member, scroll back up in the comments here. I put a link to the Discord group that you can join and we will share pictures of our creations. So if you're working on a map, like I am, uh, you can come over and share the pictures uh, in, the, in the group. So I'm just gonna keep going with this and I'll do it until I run out of wire and I'm going to have to add another wire, I think, because it looks like I am not going to have enough. But let's just go ahead and do another couple little swirls. Bring this around. So that's pretty good. Let's do one more here. And then we're going to bring this up here. Perfect. The, the aluminum's great, too, because it's super soft. And you can almost sculpt it. That's the thing I love about the aluminum wire is you can... It's almost like a sculpture that you can sculpt the wire around. And uh, so there's, so far, let's get another piece and we're going to add it. So here's another piece of the aluminum. I have a lot of this aluminum wire. Chaos style, exactly, yes. I use aluminum that I accidentally got. Yes, well, that's it. And that's exactly what this is. I accidentally ordered this aluminum wire and I have, think I have a lifetime supply because um, it's very, very soft and I can't use it for a lot of what I would normally use it for, but it's uh, it's coming in handy for things like this. So this is a good way to do it. You, you can start your chaos wrap before you add it to your piece and that way it's a little bit easier to work with. So we're just gonna do a bit of, a bit of like looping around. So you could even do like, like for, a set, maybe a set of three, something like that. So let's just do a little set of three of these little loops. Almost looks like a clover or something. That's kind of cool. And and your loops don't always have to be the same kind of uh, tension. You could do some looser, some some not so loose. So there we have start like that, and then we can fit it in to our piece. You know. So then we could go in here, maybe bring it around, and then we could just start to attach it to our piece there. So we're gonna bring it around, bring it in here. So then, and also the other thing about this is if your outline isn't perfect, it's gonna be pretty camouflaged with the, um, with the, with the uh, loopy wire. So there we go. So we're gonna bring this one over here. I'll do another one here. And basically just improvise until you have the whole piece filled in and just bring it over a little bit more. I'm gonna bring this one over a little bit more. You can undo it a bit. 
you can just like move it over a little bit if you have to. There's lots of things you can do with this. And then just when you want to finish it, just bring it around. Bring this around here and bring this to the back. Okay, we're going to bring that there. Perfect. And then we're going to do another little loop in here. I think we have enough to do another little loop. And then we'll probably be done. And this could be a pendant or a uh, earring. It could be either one. So if I want to do an earring, I'll just, I can finish it up later. But for now, it's fine like that. So then we're going to bring this in here, wrap it around, make sure your end is cut so it's not sticking out. So there we have, ooh, I like it. So this is the map of Africa as an earring. So I'll do the other one after. So we did the map of Africa and then we did Haiti here. So we've got them both. They're super cool. I'm very happy with both of them. And they took a little while to get there. It took me forever to print out this design. So yeah, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. And uh, I'm going to get the link to the Discord group again if you guys want to join. And I will just copy that. I'm going to put it in the chat. And then if you want to hop over to Discord, we're going to... I'll share pictures of these in the group and you guys can come over and chat and uh, that would be fun if you join the community. So let me flip the, let me flip my screen again uh, around. Uh, Janine says she likes Africa. Mustafa likes them both. Awesome. Africa see, I think it's freezing. Guys, I don't know if my camera is frozen or if it's done, but I'm going to hop over to the Discord group now. Let me just type in the comments. Hopping over to Discord. Better now? Awesome. So I'm going to say thank you, everybody, for hopping on. It's always great. So much fun. Thanks for your patience. We're a little uh, late. And we are going to um, next week be back on Wednesday as long as nothing comes up. And we'll see you over on Discord and we'll see you in the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.